something else going on here. Opening up this, so I'm, I'm write these text files for my YouTube videos on this text editor first, and then I paste them into YouTube. And then they tend to stack up here as I'm working on them. So here's a stack that goes back to the 17th. It's now the 25th. And when I um, look at my computer, I see that this one is highlighted. And also, these others here are select. I have a different uh, color X on them, and the reason is there's been some sort of unsaved change, so it it's letting you know that there's an unsaved change on the document. Now, normally there wouldn't be unsaved changes on these. You could just you you could just go on to a um, you know, and put a, a space in there, and then it'll show up like that. So what I think is happening is I think somebody's going into those particular documents and altering them enough so that I get the message that they're unsaved and that I would look at this group of documents in relationship to each other. And the one that was left highlighted is this one that says cut uh, Cody Wyoming screen capture, which is showing basically evidence of drone activity. Um, and specifically because um, of the situation with Kanye West being diagnosed with bipolar disorder and sometimes seeming to go into um, manic states and other types of bad luck that has happened to that family, indicating that um, they're being not just surveilled, but um, manipulated. So if I look at these in relationship to each other, then the next one, the first one on the stack is this. So um, this is a dream record. And there's people mentioned in it and situations, specifically coronavirus. So um, biological attack. And people linked to biological attacks. And what I'm starting to realize is this um, situations with the fish, the medical trafficking, biological attacks, all of those things are part of the same group. And drug addiction, getting um, artists deliberately addicted to drugs. I haven't even started talking about that yet. I think that's another thing that goes back way, way, way in as part of the, the control system. Um, like uh, getting people addicted to opioids by starting them out with um, uh, opiated cough syrup and things like that. Okay, so then this one, this thing about the wallpaper, white, they were like white loop patterns with gold leaves. Um, and then this image of Mike Patton linked to something, and, and like pa Mike Patton doing mind control on my daughter. And spiders everywhere. So one of the things that they do with mind control is make people seem crazy. They manipulate people's brains into different states. And they tell them they're mentally ill. Well, that's not what's going on at all. They're actually being manipulated with frequencies. So this one seems to be open up into the middle of the document, image of being led into a hole, linked to Boy Scouts and the band hole. And then I see a Ninkasi brewery logo. I wonder why the Boy Scouts would have an interest in creating problems for me. I don't know. It might, I think it's finance. This idea of space needles, sweet boys. Well, it could be trafficking, which is finance related. Um, I just had a, um, suddenly couldn't breathe 
I just suddenly had a weird mental effect and I suddenly couldn't breathe. So song, creep, a radio head, Audi, symbol linked to radiation, double click dinosaurs here. Um, this idea of trying to make people look like freaks and use that against them. So then cover Cody, Wyoming. Then this one here. So I name this person. I name this person. I name this person. And I name this group. And of course there are others. And the rest. Allen Ginsberg killed with heart failure. Personal assistant. Um, this one from Devil Put Dinosaurs here is all blue highlighted. I just had the same thing happen again. Head whoosh and all of a sudden I can't breathe. Then this one is also highlighted, implications of foreign nationals and global corporations funding crime in the United States, um, and specifically crime against US citizens, and specifically me and my family. So I'm talking about how um, that should be considered a national security. I mean, I don't say use those words, national security threat, but that's what I think of it as. It's certainly a threat against American citizens, and if you think American citizens matter, then it should be a concern. I wonder if this is suggesting that the same people who are behind attacking us are behind the situation linked to um, Kanye West. But the other thing I wonder about is whether um, his family members might be involved in some way. And the reason why I wonder that, it has to do with the way my family responds and the sort of responses that I've seen to him. So. I'm not saying that it is or isn't the case, but I had this image of him in a dream being linked to the Get Out character who was basically cap captive as a sex slave. Um, that dream suggesting that, yeah, it would be people around him who are um, involved in it. Um, the red flags to me are, um, The tone of Kim Kardashian's public statements are so closely mimic the tone of my cousin Joanna, who is a doctor, when she's talking about stuff and pretending she doesn't know anything about frequency-based technology, and here I know that she's been involved in it the whole time. But yet she'll take this very patronizing tone, and I'm sure she's talked about me to other people that way, like I'm sort of some sort of like um, uh, wounded human and her, she talked about they talked about their mother this way their mother was diagnosed with bipolar disorder in college and was bounced in and out of hospitals and given electric convulsive therapy and all kinds of you know drugs lithium um had a terrible time because of this and i believe the whole thing was implant based and at some point her kids had to know that but they pretended they didn't know that. 
And then as far as I'm concerned, they had to know that how, how, what was going on with me with the blacklisting and the implants and the torture and all that kind of stuff. But yet the portrayal of me seems to have been, you know, like there's something wrong with me. Right. Um, and then with my grandma who is being tortured by implants, she wouldn't admit that she knew that was going on. There's no way she didn't know that that was going on. You know, at the time I just thought she's being willfully ignorant. Now I think she's doing cover up. So there's a dynamic that goes on in these situations where the person who is the victimizer, the one who's doing something um, illegal and criminal, appears to be the competent one in the relationship. They appear to be the one that has it together. Um, they appear to be concerned about their family members. They you know, they appear to be, you know, calling for, you know, mercy and tolerance and all this kind of stuff, which on the surface, it all makes sense. But what if the same person that's doing that is actually manipulating systems and situations behind the scenes to create illness in, in the person? And as far as why would a person create illness in a loved one or somebody who's supposed to be a loved one? I think it would be about control. In some cases, it might be about finance. And um, in some cases, it would be about covering things up. So I'm not saying that is or isn't what's happening to Kanye, but it is possible. And I'm now, I now have a, a bigger room in my head for the realm of possibility when it comes to people family members and how they treat other family members and that it just doesn't always make sense to me. It doesn't always fit into my logical thought process of what a family would look, act, and behave like. And that sometimes it can be, you know, far beyond what I would expect a family to look, act, or behave like. And that often in these cases, the one that looks reasonable and rational is the one who's doing the crime.